Hi, I'm Candace Cable. Welcome to this Reeve Health Minute. Those of us with spinal cord injuries know that getting dressed for outdoor winter activity can sometimes be confusing. Fortunately for us, cross-country skiers have it down. Let's go check out what they wear. Cross-country sit skiing is an aerobic activity, which means some of us are going to perspire. And because conditions can change rapidly in the mountains, it's best to layer our clothing. First and foremost, no cotton. Cotton retains moisture and can make us vulnerable to the cold. Our base layer, which is the layer closest to our skin, should be a thin, moisture-wicking material that fits snugly but is not constricting, so as to ensure good circulation. Due to my spinal cord injury, I lack sensation in my legs and my back. So I like to tuck my shirt into my tights and then tuck my tights into my socks to help protect my skin. I check these areas often for exposure because frostbite can happen very quickly. The next layer is a fleece layer and this layer is more substantial. Finally, there's an outer layer. And this layer can be optional depending on the weather, but it's always good to have on hand. It will protect us from the rain, the wind, and let moisture evaporate. The boots should be waterproof, warm, and lightweight, and be able to fit two pairs of socks. Your gloves can either be full-fingered or lobster claws. <laughs> Next, we have our sunblock, our lip balm, our sunglasses, and our hat to protect us from the high altitude sun exposure. Now we're ready to grab our equipment and get outside for some wintertime exercise. This is your Reeve Health Minute, and I'm Candace Cable.